got me into tarot is like I've always had a feeling that like I always wanted to read tarot actually I didn't know about tarot until I went to go see a psychic I'm not even gonna lie about that when I went to go see a psychic in my psychic experience um it was interesting because it's like she she kind of confirmed things that I already knew and it was helpful because I was like oh I already know these things and I kind of felt good because I'm like oh this feels like a confirmation and it felt nice it felt comforting like I know a lot of us are scared to go to psychics I know because even the first day that I decided to go it's always in the back of my head to go but the first day I finally decided to go I was just like damn like I know like I felt like a calling was telling me like Penny there's more there's more to this world and you know that there's more but like I just needed that extra confirmation don't get me wrong don't always go to the, they're not always going to be right but I knew that I had some gift that I wanted to explore and I, the only way I can confirm it was to get this confirmation to see if it was real to get somebody who actually is very intuitive so I'm like why not let's see what's gonna happen if I go see a psychic right I didn't know what to expect and as I got there I noticed that like she just pulled out her deck her cards right and she just literally told me to shuffle them don't get me wrong i was shaking i was nervous okay she told me to shuffle them so i was like okay let me shuffle i couldn't even shuffle the cards because i was nervous i'm like what the heck is going on you know like as a girl who went to church all her life it was just like oh my gosh you can't do that it's a sin it's like why is it a sin what am i doing wrong you know what i mean why is knowing about my life a sin it just don't, don't didn't ever make sense to me and it was just like i always had a calling to go calling to go because i felt like i needed that confirmation and it's okay you're not gonna die you're not gonna get hurt if you go in and ask about your life or ask about that thing that's bothering your soul ask about because once i stepped in there and i heard the messaging that came out of that woman's mouth i felt so like i felt like that weight that was on my chest or whatever the questioning or whatever weight that was on my chest had been lifted like somebody just pulled the, the darkness out of my my chest all the missing answers all the things that like i was worried about was all lifted you know and at that moment i was like wow like i know there's a god i know god exists okay and when i walked in there oh, this is the advice i want to give you to guys when you're going to see a psychic always make sure that like in the psychic room that they have pictures of God. Well, not God. They have pictures of Jesus. Because you know, nobody knows what God looks like. But you just have pictures of Jesus. Not no demonic shit. You don't see that stuff, okay? If you do see it, or right, it's not a good place for you to be there. You shouldn't be there in the first place, okay? But a real psychic will have pictures of Jesus. Will have pictures of, I don't know, like, things from the Bible. You know what I mean? Like, those things. And just know that it's it's a good place to be because if it wasn't those things wouldn't even sit there you know what i mean you, you just know in your heart that it's a safe place once you walk into the place you'll know in your heart that the place is good you'll know because as human beings we have our own intuitions that will guide us and let us know that where we're going is a good place so don't be afraid don't be afraid okay because at first like I did my research i'm like okay if i go to this place what is it gonna tell me da, 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 da. i had my you know but like my the way my life was moving at the time i needed answers like let me tell you guys what was happening in my life okay like at the moment i was going to work it was embarrassing i was going to work i felt like there's a transition that i had to do and i just could not figure it out okay my work wasn't going well like i was getting paid okay but i think god was trying to shake me up and tell me like you're too comfortable you shouldn't you shouldn't you need to make a move right you need to make a move you know what god sent me you know what spirit sent me the holy spirit sent me roaches okay roaches were following me at my work you think it was it was a joke i never experienced this in my life guys correct me there was roaches at my work but i think there was also roaches at my friend's house yeah one of my friends had roaches at her house i know it sounds insane but like for some reason like these roaches kept following me i'm like what the fuck is going on like what type of like who put this on me like you know what i mean i'm just like i felt like there was something trying to push me or telling me to leave certain situations in my life and then even at my workplace they were following me and i said no this ain't this is not right my life is not like this let me tell you guys something when there's a transitioning needing to happen in your life and you don't listen <laughs> 
spirit will send you things like that to make you so uncomfortable so uncomfortable for you to have to make a move and then i was like damn yo like i don't even know what's happening these realtors are following me at my work they're at my girl's house they're starting to come into my house it's like what right so at that moment i couldn't i said no i have to leave this job they're paying me but I, this is not my life and th at this moment i was like leaving i was transitioning from leaving work to go back to school right and i'm like you know what i have to leave my time's running up it got to the point where they even started to call like those roach and ter terminators at the workplace because they're like there's only five people living in the office why is there roaches like you know what i mean like where are they coming from so thankfully nobody expected it was me but it was me because at a point i found one in my purse and i was so embarrassed but then i tried to kill it <laughs> so embarrassing but this is my truth and I'm, that's what i'm gonna speak and um yeah like i never experienced that and they were just like everywhere so at this moment i'm like okay i need to quit this job because spirit is telling me like i need to go somewhere so this is the time where i'm just like okay um i need to go see psychic you know and i was trying to move out at the time with one of my girls too and she's like oh yeah come live with me but even the world just started to come into her house she was like infested okay so i was just like okay spirit doesn't want me to move in with her clearly because there's something about her that's not it's not good or it's not even about her that was not good it was just something about that energy together is just we're not good together you know what i mean there's something or maybe she wasn't a good person at the time for me to be around right because i absorb energy and a lot of the times i my i'm so sensitive that i tend to i don't know become the people that i'm around like i absorb the energy that i'm around like yeah right so i think that wasn't good at the time so anywho back to the stories i went to go see a psychic and then when i went to go see the psychic i was so scared i was so scared but i walked in and then i was just like okay she's like okay i remember i went with one of my guy friends and then she's just like okay um can you come back i was like oh my god i'm already scared shitless and you want me to come back and like it took me forever to come here <laughs> So I was like, okay, fine. So I left and then I went to go get some subway and then she's like, I'm so sorry. Like I have things going on in my house right now. I just need to fix a couple of things and then you can come back and I'll read you. Like I'll read your whole life story. That's what basically she told me. Like I got a good deal for you. I'll read you your whole life story. Good price. Yada, yada, yada. I was like, cool. So I went to go get some food, came back. <sighs> And at that moment, when I think about it, this is the thing, like, when, when people like that, they need time to absorb your energy. They need some time to absorb your, your like, who's this person? Where did they come from? Like, you know, because not you can't welcome everybody within your space, right? So intuitively, that's what I, I felt as well. So as I got there, she's like, I think she only said, like, oh, come back in, like, 10 minutes or whatever. So she I came back in 10 minutes. And then, like, she, like one of my guy friends actually came in the room with me because i didn't want to go in the room by myself while she was reading me i'm new to this stuff like you know like i'm like can he come in too like you know she's like yeah, yeah so she went on let me tell you guys i prayed that day and i prayed that maybe like the day before that and let me tell you the same prayer that i prayed to god was the same prayer that she had recited to me she's like oh i know that the other day you prayed or she's like you made a prayer no she didn't even say prayer she just said you said you want this you said you want that you said you want that and she's like they're all gonna come it's all gonna happen you know what i mean and she's like it was just like that confirmation i was like oh and yeah some people be like oh yeah there's there's um you know everyone has their own contradictions of why she got some messages but why is it that pe things that people can't explain they're always trying to say it's bad it's from the devil why because they're scared they want some confirmation if they or if they can't do it they want to say it's bad it's from the devil people are some weird beings but anyways that side note from that everything she said i knew was good and i knew was right because at the end of the day i'm just like what's so wrong about this stuff and then the funniest thing that caught me too was when she was just like you're stressing about money don't even worry about it there's money coming in in a week you're gonna get a check like it's been sitting there you're gonna get it 
tell me why that within that week I got a check from my, my college saying that I had money left over. And I also got a credit card that had $7,000 on it that I did not even like ask, like did not even see that I was going to get approved, you know? And I was just like, whoa. So it was just like, it was interesting that she knew those things. But I honestly believe that like people like that receive messages and they're intuitive. And if you continue to build that connection with God and you start to listen to yourself and you start to listen to your body, you'll start to... And if you ask God, like, you want to... You want to talk to God and ask God, okay, I want to have a relationship with you or, like, you're very intuitive and you, you want to take the time to have that connection with God, God will give you those gifts. Like, even me, like, I took the time to want to understand these cards. I wanted to take the time to... I'm like, oh, I could never do this stuff, you know? But it's not even about that. It's like, you got to be confident and believe in what you're doing. And I'm still working on it. Like, sometimes I'm just like, oh, am I doing this correctly? I'm not perfect because at the end of the day, I'm only human. And I can only listen and absorb the messages that God gives me and be able to portray it to the person. And it's my intuition. No human is perfect, especially when these messages are coming in. We are not perfect. We're only giving what we, we know and... It's not pressure. If it resonates, it's gonna resonate. You're gonna know if that message is meant to be given to you by God. You're gonna your your senses are gonna know. You're gonna be called to it. You're gonna want a reading. You're gonna want to have clarification, and that's okay to explore. We're in this world not to be perfect. We're in this world to learn. We're in this world to teach. We're not here to just listen to rules and listen to regulations and listen to people tell us everything is bad. No, it's not bad. We're here to learn, and it's okay. Ask. Pray, ask God, ask your angels, ask, and the answers will be given. God will send you somebody to give you the answers. God will send you somewhere. And when God wants to send you somewhere, he'll send things to come bother you. <laughs> to send things to be like, girl, you need to wake up and listen and pay attention and have messages for you. Listen to those things. Listen, you know you're going to be called to go somewhere and go. Okay, don't second guess yourself. What the lady told me always, she said, your first thought is the correct thought. And that has stuck with me to the day. Because me, I've always been an indecisive person. I've always been so indecisive. I've never known, like, what to pick, what to do. But always, she said, the first thought, the first thing you wanted, the first thing that came in your head is what you want. And I was like, oh. And ever since that day, I've always been knowing, knowing how to make decisions. <laughs> right so it's just like yeah like that woman helped me out a lot she's not around I heard she moved to Florida I don't know but she was like she helped me during those times I'm not gonna lie and like even at that time I was in a very dark space dealing with somebody I was dating with and just I was like how did she explain it she explained it like in a gray area when everything around you looks dark everything around you is gray you don't see light the light has been sucked out of you like just in a dark gray you don't you, like when you're in that depressive state you don't see color everything is black and white it's like a dark cloud has been hovering over you this whole time and the way she explained it was exactly what I was going through because I was depressed right and I was hurt I was broken hearted and I was going through a life transition and I needed to leave something behind like but that was the beginning of my transition and that was the beginning of my awakening, right? And I didn't know how to deal with it. And I always knew that I had some type of gift or I had a connection, but I just didn't at the time trust anything. I smile each day and I'm happy because you know what? I'm me again. And it wasn't easy. And my light shines, my skin's been better now because it's just like, I'm in the process of taking care of myself. I'm me again. and. Once you let go of the old ways of living and let go of those toxic things, toxic people, things will start to change. Look at my skin. Skin's getting better. Acne's gone. Um, My eating's okay. Like, it's not best, but it's okay. But everything is just glowing now because I found me, right? And this is a life journey. Like, everything that I told you guys about psychics and all those things, like, I went through those things and... I've learned that I have the gift within me, right? And God wanted to show me that. And 
I have them through dreams and I'm able to read like I'm pretty good at it like you know I'm, I'm working on it I'm not perfect but I I'm able to read in a sense I don't know how but like it's just something that I just know I can't explain it and even my friends were like maybe you should be like a reader you know you're really good at this like how do you know like you know what I mean like how do you like it's not even explain like when people ask me like I don't know it's just it's just is like you know like it just is and the cards come out at the right timing it's like for example if i'm seeing the spread and it comes out like the card comes out reading tarot is not easy because you have to learn each card and each card has to mean something to you so of course when you do that each card means something to you and then you're able to like explain it and then read it on your own but i'm still in the process of learning i'm not the best the best deck that i've been using right now or that i received from another psychic or someone online <coughs> this was the first deck that i ever got and she she gave it to me for like 13 bucks and she sent it to my house and this deck was the easiest deck because it's, it was easy and simple it's like tarot and oracle cards in one um the psychic tarot oracle deck so i was able to start from here and this helped me to actually read actual tarot so it's helpful easy and everybody likes it but i like it because it's easy to read and i understand it so that's all that matters and i use this deck to read for people and they're like oh shoot like how'd you know that but it's not me knowing it it's just the connection okay <laughs> it ain't me you know it's it's what it's it's just what it is and i don't know it's like when you're a good person and you just well you choose to be good good things will come your way and it's just what it is it's not luck it's it's just choosing to be a good person and understanding and like just doing it just being good just be good and everything will be okay and pray to god pray to your angels no one's perfect here nobody has the answers okay look within talk to god talk to your angels they'll tell you what to do you'll know anyways thank you guys for watching that was me ranting about my psychic experience but if you have more questions about it and you want to get into it and want to know more just subscribe message me email me whatever it is we know to do and we can talk to things them okay bye